City leaders in Hendersonville are trying to drum up community support for upgrades to Berkeley Mills Park. Last November, residents voted against a referendum that would have raised taxes to help pay some of the costs. Well, now they're looking at other ways to move ahead. News 13's Ashley Searles is live tonight in Hendersonville with more. Ashley. Yeah, so city leaders have now, they're going to pursue grant money for the project. And what happened here in Hendersonville tonight will all be part of the application now. Anything can draw a crowd, especially on a weeknight. It's kids or something people think is good for them, like a park. Look, I'm a big, big vitamin D3 advocate, and we need to get our children outside. And so dozens showed up at tonight's Hendersonville City Council meeting, knowing that their attendance could help win the city money for Berkeley Mills Park. But as part of the grant application, we are going to have to show how it is we got the word out about this meeting. How many showed up in support and what they said tonight will be part of a grant application that would give the city $250,000 to put towards a plan to improve the green space. I wasn't planning on speaking tonight. Which some say is a long time coming. Really kind of pushed one of my buttons that has been bothering me for a while and I feel like our playgrounds here, um, they're an afterthought. For the children. About 15 people spoke or submitted comments backing the park, even though it may bump up taxes slightly. I, for one, even if my taxes go up a few dollars a year, am happy to pay because I know that things like this park improve the quality of life for everybody in Hendersonville. And whether folks were at the meeting to rally for the park or not, when the whole room was asked. If you also would like to see us move forward with this uh, grant request, if you could just raise your hand. The majority of the folks there were behind the move forward. The council meeting tonight, that was public comment. And before any more plans move forward with the park, there'll also be a public hearing held. That'll be scheduled. So if you want to get your voice heard, there'll still be another chance. Reporting live tonight in Hendersonville, I'm Ashley Searles, News 13.